Welcome back. We're out here working. There's some deer kicking around. Actually, the last load I did, I was watching them. Uh, they were wandering all over that hill over there while I was chipping that load. Um, but yeah, there's some deer kicking around. That's probably uh, 130 yards. You know, good poke. There are a couple of them there. There's two of them, one below the other one. But those are two deer there. Three. Another one down there coming out. Well, there's another one down there. Look at them. Would you just look at that? So, yeah, I was watching them there while we were chipping. They're all wandering around. But today's project, we got our loads all out today. It's good. It feels like it's later than it is, but it's not. We got to change the oil on the V12. She's uh, a little low oil pressure, and so if you're new, if you're new to the situation, um, the V12's at the shop getting fixed right now. They're, re they're putting one together for us. That old girl needs a little love. What's wrong with that V12? Which one? This one. What do you think? Probably had her head gasket. Head gasket leaking. She's leaking some antifreeze into the oil, so. You got to keep an eye on it. So it's come that time to change the oil in the chipper. So that's what we're working on today, this afternoon. And uh, we got it. It's a pretty simple system. That hose right there, bada boom, bada bing, and away you go. So we're going to get started on that. And then uh, we're just about got this job wrapped up. We're just about done with the thing. So. It should be interesting. Them deer are still teasing me back there. They're still back there. Fun, fun. They love us. They just love us. All kinds of stuff for them to eat now. They're happy, happy, happy. So here we go. We got filters and man, it's it's cold just holding the camera. This is rough. Just my fingers are cold. You like this right here? This is professional right here. You see, jump right up there. Go from A to B. I guess I might as well start the draining process. We'll drain her out of there and throw some filters in her and see what happens. I just got the uh, power shut off for the old girl for the night. Calling her a day. Got the oil changed in it. Like I said before, this 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 motor needs some love, so we're just uh, babying it through till we get the other one done. They are working on that at the shop. So if I can get down to the shop, we will get hopefully maybe get some video of that. But I've just been uh, being out here has been busy 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 getting everything out here getting the barco back up and going that thing is just sawing great to be honest um so you can tell we got some more logs piled up trimming's been absolute fun lots of trimming hard maple and uh it's a little little brushy hard maple so therefore um, lots of trimming all the time and uh we try to help gary out and uh keep him going so but yeah we got oh there's one more there that needs trimmed but uh no we got some logs piled up again today there's a little bit of basswood and aspen there that's that stuff there so he's out of here and we're calling it's just just a it was a good day we've had a couple uh really good days so that's the good thing is it has been uh a couple really good days so it's not like you know, last week when we had the when we had the barco broke down and you had all this exciting content of fixing it and, and rolling it back over, and the chipper was stuck the week before and it was like all this exciting content. And now it's like we're actually just putting out loads of wood and cutting logs. There's not really uh, 
a whole lot of excitement. But um, we'll get some good videos coming up. This is like coming to you real fresh. So this video here. And uh, we got the, I got the drone, and I was going to get a drone video today, but it was snowing just enough where I didn't want to get it out. So maybe tomorrow, if we can get lucky enough tomorrow to where we can have a, a good day, we only have like, uh, like we got like six bundles of wood left. So if we can get uh, six or seven bundles of wood out of here, chipped out of here tomorrow, um, then everything's going to start changing. So hopefully the plan was is to get like uh get the wood out of here chips out of here and then we got logs here and we got logs over there yet to get out so at that for the other landing so we need to get that cleaned up as, as soon as possible so we can get the skitters out of here so tomorrow they'll be moving the tiger cat because uh gary's gonna have to cut um to keep ahead of us because the other crew set up and the other bunchers down there and there's quite a chunk of, t of, of wood down there to get cut. So he's going to be down there for a while. So therefore, um, it's going to get chaotic here in the next uh, next week, probably this week. Um, tomorrow, if we can get that tire cut up there, maybe get the dozer back over here. I need to clean up the trails. And then we got a couple culverts to put back. So maybe we can get a video of that if it all works out. And then we got the logs out of here. Then we got to get the mats out of here and uh, get the whole landing and get everything cleaned up and then we'll get a drone video of the, of the job when we're done. That's kind of the idea of what's going on. But coming up next week, it's gonna be, um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. We're gonna be chipping and slashing and skidding and cutting and we're gonna be doing it all. It's gonna be uh, fun, fun, fun. So there'll be plenty of uh, wonderful video opportunities next week. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, because Gary is going to be cutting and Josh will be skidding. So we need someone to slash and need someone to chip. So we're going to try to set them up separate. We can get the, if, if we can get it all to work out, which, you know, it seems like that hardly ever happens. So if we can get everything separated so that I can slash while I'm not chipping and then chip and then Gary can help slash and then he gets a break and he can cut and then, you know, it's going to be busy. <laughs> so ne next week will be a little more uh, chaotic, maybe. So therefore, maybe there'll be a little more opportunity better, a little more uh, video opportunity. And uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully it works out. I know it'll work out, but it'll get interesting. I don't know where the job's at yet or what's on it or what's going on, but it, we'll see. We'll have the tiger cat back. Um, you guys asked me, what in the world? Come on, John. Get her warmed up. I did get a bunch of questions on the last, yesterday's video, and uh, oh mercy, I can't remember them all. But uh, let's see, we had the shoe question, the boot question. Everyone asked how the boots are doing. I'm still wearing them. Still wearing the boots. Um, people were asking, what's the bark coming off the conveyor? I can't see nothing now. It's just too dark. Um, and we've explained all that before of how that whole chipper works so I, we got a lot of new people on here so there's a lot of new questions and if you see any questions in the comments that you know the answer to just flip them a comment tell them what's going on tell them that john doesn't know anything therefore we'll get them straightened out right from the get-go um and go from there so hopefully <laughs> we change the oil chipper's ready to go everything should work out for morning get that done and we'll get out of here. We'll come back tomorrow. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. You just never know. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks for all the support to the channel. You guys are the best. Just keep rolling.